Hi, hello friends, welcome to the channel. I'm wishing you very happy Christmas to all my viewers. In today's topic, we'll be seeing process planning and cost estimation, unit 4, production cost estimate, MCQs. Question number 1. The material losses to be considered in forging are Option A is given as shear loss, Option B is given as tonghole loss, and Option C is given as scale loss, and Option D is given as flash loss, and Option E is given as spew loss, and Option F is given as all the above. Shear loss, tonghole loss, scale loss, flash loss, spear loss, all are the losses to be considered during forging process. Forging means hammering, that all operations comes under forging process, bending, you are using heat and you are bending the steel, iron, that all comes under forging process. What are the process that blacksmith performs, that all comes under forging process. So I am going with option number F, all the above. Question number 2. Shear loss is generally taken as dash percentage of the dash of the net weight. Shear loss is generally taken as 5 percentage of the net weight. So I am going with option number A, 5. Shear loss is taken, just taken as 5 percentage of the net weight. Scale loss. Scale loss is generally taken as dash of the net weight. Option A is given as 6 percentage, option B is given as 7 percentage, option C is given as 8 percentage and option D is given as 20 percentage. Scale loss is generally taken as 6 percentage of the net weight. So I am going with option number A, 6. Question number 4. The length of the tongue hold is usually dash of the stock length. What is the length of the tongue hold? We are holding the workpiece that length that we will be holding with tongue hold that while holding also, you will get some losses that the part you are catching, consider this hand as a tongue and this is a workpiece. I am holding this with a tongue. Assume it. This area is called as tongue hole loss. The area which are catching will not be heated. Right. That is that the uh, that is also considered as loss. So, the length of the tongue hole is usually dash of the stock length. This is the question asked. Option A is given as 20 mm, option B is given as 30 mm, option C is given as 5 mm and option D is given as 10 mm. Option number A, 20 mm is the right answer. The tongue length is 20 mm. Question number 5. In flash loss calculation, generally flash is taken as dash width and dash thickness. In, during flash loss calculation, the flash, that is a heat pass, is taken as dash width and the dash thickness when flash loss calculation the flash touches the at least the length thickness of 20 mm and thickness of 3 mm so i'm going with option number a 20 mm and 3 mm respectively question number six spur loss generally taken as dash of the net weight spur loss is generally taken as dash of the net weight options are given as seven percentage nine percentage thirteen percentage and twenty four percentage Spur loss is taken as per loss is taken as seven percentage of net weight. So I'm going with option number A, seven percentage. Question number seven: Gas welding technique consists of option number A is given as forward welding, option number B is given as backward welding, option number C is given as both A and B. Gas welding technique consists of forward welding and backward welding. So I'm going with option number C, both A and B. Well, welding. While welding in a workpiece, we will be taking the arc from this side, the left side that is a forward side, then from right side also we will be taking that is a backward side. It just differs by an angle. In, in forward degree, we will be taking up to 45 degree and in backward angle, we will be taking 30 degree. This is the technique of gas welding. We are uh, applying heat to the workpiece. If you move from left to right, then it is considered forward. From move to right to left, then it will be considered as backward. Question number 8. The process of increasing the thickness or cross-section area of the workpiece by reducing its length is. Question number 8. Um, once again, I will read. The process of increasing the thickness or cross-sectional area of the workpiece by reducing its length is. You are increasing the thickness or cross-sectional area by reducing its length. Option number A is given as upsetting, option number B is given as drawing down, option number C is given as fullering and option number D is given as setting down. 
the process of increasing the thickness by decreasing its length is called upsetting so i'm going with option number a upsetting the process of increasing the length question number 9 the process of increasing the length of the bar by reducing its thickness or width is option a is given as drawing down option number b is given as upsetting option number c is given as fullering option number d is given as setting down the process of increasing the length of the bar by reducing its thickness or width is option number a is given as drawing down drawing down is also called as fullering so i am going with option number this is by mistake it is given as b and c it's uh, a and c so i am going with option number e a and c question number 10 if you are increasing the thickness by reducing the length then it is called upsetting imagine here you are taking a metal fixing this end and you are beating it thus you will be increasing the thickness by reducing its length this is called upsetting for this process just imagine you are placing this bar horizontally and hammering it applying force here then it will be increased the thickness will be reduced just imagine this is drawing down question number 10 drawing down is also called as fullering so i am going with option number a and c that is e option number e both a and c question number 10 the method used for smoothening of a square or a rectangle article is what's the question ask you are smoothening the sides of a square or the rectangular bar rectangular article smoothening this surface this surface what is this called option number a is given as setting down option number b is given as drawing down option number c is given as upsetting option number d is given as fullering all these three we saw this is the process of smoothening of square or rectangular article is setting down so i am going with option number a setting down question number 11 the operation by which a metal or a pipe can be bent to form various shapes without damaging its internal grain structure is called well construction we will be seeing there are long rods iron rods we will be they will be turning it into square form right this rectangular or square form they will be changing it to this shape without damaging its internal structure that process is called what in our mechanical engineering also this comes under civil engineering mechanical engineering there will be long rods or pipes like this they will be converting it into a dome shape like this like this in this shape they will be con converting into bent shape that all will be coming under the all these operations is carried out in which operations all this process is carried out in which operation this is a question asked without damaging its internal grain structure that means internal structure option number a is given as drawing down option number b is given as bending option number c is given as punching and option number d is given as swagging so i'm going with option number b bending bending is the operation that in which a rod and cone shape bending is the operation in which metal rod or pipe is bent to various shapes without damaging its internal grain structure this operation is called bending so i'm going with b bending question number 12 dash is a process of producing holes in a workpiece what is the process of producing holes in a workpiece option a punching option b is drifting option c swaying option b bending punching is a process of producing holes in a workpiece so i'm going with option number a punching in papers also we will be putting holes and we will be calling as punching and we will be using we are putting holes on paper using punching machine similar way we will also be using uh, holes in metals by using punching punching machine question number 13 after a hole is punched it may be opened out to any size or shape by driving a tapper drift tapper drift through it the operation is known as option a is drafting option b is punching option c is given as swagging option b is given as bending there is a metal work piece you are fixing it there is a drilling machine or a punching machine you are producing hole 
and this hole should be enlarged to a diameter this is 2 mm consider this 2 mm or enlarge to 8 mm that process can be done that process that operation is called as what option number a is given as drafting option number b is given as punching option number c is given as swagging option number d is given as bending the right answer is drafting this operation is called drafting if we are increasing a hole then we are saying as drafting Question number fourteen. Dash is a process of removing the irregularities on the surface of the workpiece produced by the process of drawing down is. Dash is a process of removing the irregularities of a surface of the workpiece produced by the process of drawing down is. Option A is swagging. Option B drafting. While the while performing drawing down option that is placing a workpiece flat horizontal and you are beating it. then it will be increasing in its length by decreasing in its thickness while doing that there are some irregularities formed that irregularities are removed by the process called swagging so i am going with option number a swagging hope you like this session guys option number a swagging hope you like this session guys please like the channel share with your friends and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching guys bye